Back health workers sounding the alarm as the U.S. sees a surge in mental health issues following the pandemic. Newsy national correspondent James Packard tells us why some workers are striking in California and what experts are seeing in other states across the nation. We really do spend almost all of our time putting out fires instead of actually treating mental health issues. In Northern California Monday, thousands of mental health clinicians starting an open-ended strike over long wait times and heavy workloads, worried about patients who aren't getting care as a national mental health crisis balloons. I'm seeing it building where there's more of these calls that we're going on. In Lakewood, Ohio, police are responding to mental health or substance abuse crisis calls more, seeing 23% more activity in their crisis intervention sector. Weekly, we have multiple calls that um, are dealing with people who are who are having troubles. The World Health Organization says globally the pandemic triggered a 25 percent increase in anxiety and depression. You know, they're seeing 200 to 300 patients that are on their caseload and that's not healthy. And in Northern California, the union representing the striking workers says Kaiser, the nation's largest nonprofit HMO, is only staffing one mental health clinician for every 2,600 members leading to long wait times and heavy workloads. We do absolutely zero preventative mental health care, which is an enormous flaw in the system. But we're not intended to be doing exclusively crisis intervention. But unfortunately, that's pretty much what we're doing these days, given the frequency we're able to see patients. Kaiser says it has added a net 200 new clinicians since the start of last year, but it's not enough to stop a strike, right? As parents coast to coast stress about the upcoming school year and their kids do the same. Returning for school under the best of circumstances is uh, a time of a plethora of emotions and there's a lot of overwhelming things that they're dealing with because these are not normal times. In Montana, Beth Price Morrison is worried about kids with COVID stress and school shootings on their minds. 11% of our high school students in Cascade County in 2021 attempted suicide. And in Michigan, Dr. Adele Cadieu is seeing more and more traffic in her medical center's behavioral health unit. Sometimes anxiety actually comes out more as anger and irritability. So some kids get, you know, seem to be just upset or really frustrated all the time or getting angry really easily. A call to parents as a global mental health crisis prompts healthcare workers to take the fight into their own hands. I have to believe that someone at that bargaining table is finally going to say, you know what, like, they're right. Like, this isn't the top tier mental health care that we want to be providing. We've got to make a change. That was Newsies James Packard reporting.